Angry drunks, right? You don't want to be around an angry drunk. You want to relax. You want to enjoy your, your drink. You want to put your legs up. And you're around these people who irritate the heck out of you. Go away! Wrong. Dr. Ben Lynch here, and I'm not an angry drunk. Yes, I can't tolerate my alcohol very well. I just don't have the genetics involved that I need to burn that alcohol out. But hey, I know my biochemistry. So now I can drink and moderation. I don't drink much, but when I do, I know how to get the alcohol out and I, need, I know how to restore my biochemistry so I feel good while I'm drinking and the next day. Now, angry drunks. What's happening? When they drink, what's going on? When you drink alcohol, what's required? Methylation is a key pathway in your patient's biochemistry that is needed to get rid of the alcohol. Ethanol inhibits the methylation cycle and it inhibits it over time. It's not immediate, it's over time. And it's over time because they're getting deficient in these various nutrients that they need. Methylcobalamin, methylfolate, uh, magnesium, and so on. These nutrients start going down. As the more and more they drink, these nutrients get lower and lower, the more irritable they get. Now, why do they get irritable? Because you need methylation to get rid of norepinephrine. You need methylation to get rid of dopamine. If you get too high of dopamine nor norepinephrine, you become more anxious and irritable. So if you support the methylation in your patient by supporting them with methylcobalamin and methylfolate, these dopamine levels and the norepinephrine levels start dropping. And it's really important. Now another key component of methylation is magnesium. When you're drinking alcohol, what happens? You pee a lot. Your patients are peeing a lot more, they become electrolyte deficient, and let's say they have adequate magnesium, or they have adequate methylate, methylfolate and methylcobalamin, but they're low in magnesium because of the increased frequency of urination. Their methylation is inhibited, that's simple. So now they're magnesium deficient. Get that magnesium, that magnesium is also a cofactor to help get rid of dopamine and norepinephrine. So that is one mechanism out of three of why, what I believe to be causing angry drunks. And there's another one which is related to histamine. Some alcohol is very high in histamine, especially aged alcohols, especially red wines. And it's not only histamine, but it's tyramine. You hear the amine at the end? That means it needs to go through an enzyme called MAO, M-A-O, monoamine oxidase. This enzyme is naturally slower in men than women. But there's also genetic variations in this enzyme, which cause the ability to get rid of histamine and tyramine and serotonin out of the body. So if your patient is a man, has this slowed enzymatic reaction because of the genetic uh, polymorphism that they inherited from their mom or their dad, and they also are riboflavin deficient, B2 deficient, because you need riboflavin for the mal enzyme to work, now they're also going to be increasing their serotonin. Serotonin does what? Too much serotonin causes an angry drunk. So support their MAO-A enzyme. Reduce their histamine containing alcohols. Re get rid of the red wines and use lower histamine alcohols and support them with riboflavin. Or better yet, tell them to cut down on the alcohol. So I hope that serves you and your patients. And next time they have a drink, you can support their methylation and and have happy company as well. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about this. ShyCon 2015, have you heard about it? You just enjoyed this video, I hope. You're excited about it. This information is very clinically relevant to you and your patients. ShyCon 2015 is an upcoming conference in October that you can't miss. There's 400 like-minded people like me, like yourself, that want to know more about how to optimize the health of your patients. You have four days of it. You have 400 doctors who are wanting to get more information on this and do what they need to do and transform medicine and transform the health of your patient and transform your practice. ShyCon 2015, you can do it. Learn more at seekinghealth.org. Thank you.